healthcare for those who are seated and in our safe. Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law, so help me God. Okay, we will now conduct the oath of office. I, Lester Bird, do swear that I will exercise the function of the office of senior minister without fear or favor, affection or ill will according to the Constitution and other laws of Antigua and Barbuda. So, finally, we have the oath of secrecy. I, Lester Brian Bird, do swear that I will not, on any account, at any time whatsoever, disclose any counsel, advice, opinion, or voice given by any minister as a member of the cabinet, and that I will not accept with the authority of the cabinet and to such extent that it may be required for the proper conduct of the government of Antigua and Barbuda, directly or indirectly, reveal the business or proceedings of the cabinet or any matter to my knowledge as a member of the cabinet. Okay, we will now have the signing of the three oaths.
Prime Minister of China. We will now have. Please, my announcement here, you can do anything after. <laughs> we will now have the East UN Service Instrument of Appointment, which will be delivered by Her Excellency. that he will do an excellent job. So give him, come on, give him a round of applause. I've had, the privilege of, I've had the privilege of being Prime Minister. But I want to say to you that I'm sure that Comrade Gaston Brown will take the opportunity to make sure that all the efforts have been made to create an Antiguan Barbuda that is worthy of the Antigua Labour Party. Yeah. So I want you all to give him, I want you all to give him your full support. Yeah. 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 We, 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 we have had our um, ups and downs and so on. But yes, like, like, like the convention says, the government said. But that is the nature of politics. Yeah. Yeah. And, and therefore, we have to go out there support them, support the Labour Party, yes, yes. and make sure that when the next election is held, yes. the Labour Party yes. 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 I want to wish you every success and everything that you're doing to make sure that the efforts that you're putting is worthy of Comrade Gaston. Yes. Yes. Let me take this opportunity on behalf of the leadership and membership of the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party to congratulate our leader Emeritus, Celesta, on a most deserving appointment. Fifteen years ago, I sat in a different position. It's now a rule reversal. And it is rule reversal in that 15 years ago, he appointed me as a minister, the youngest minister then in the cabinet. And it would have been as a result of his foresight why I would have been in this position today. And I want to thank you very much, sir. to go on record once again to state that Celeste 
would have made the second largest contribution <coughs> towards the socio-economic development of this country. There's no other, barring Severe Bird Senior, yes. would have made a most significant contribution towards the advancement of this country. And I go further. I believe that we all as Antiguans and Barbudans owe him a debt of gratitude. Oh yes. There's no doubt that he's the father of modern Antigua and Barbuda. Yes. And I say to you today that in very short order that we will be knighting him. Step further. Yes. And I want you to listen very carefully. Yes. yes. That Celeste will become our second living national. Yes. Madam Governor General, you will be hearing from us very shortly. And we know as usual that we have your full cooperation. <laughs> but, I'm sorry, Madam I'm sorry for anticipating. But I finally take this opportunity to wish you long life. I know that you have had some health issues, but I wish you a speedy recovery. And I know that we will be the better off as a result of your good counsel. And you hear him. You hear him today. Still a very sharp mind. So don't worry about the immobility. It's what's in the mind. It's just and I want to tell you that you did a remarkable feat, winning your seat. I have no doubt that you would have won. But I want to say that I'm very pleased, and I'm very pleased to have you as part of our cabinet. And I'm sure that you would make the discussions much richer, and certainly you would help us in our deliberations to ensure that we have one of the best cabinets in the Caribbean, and to play your part in helping us to transform this country into an economic powerhouse. I thank you once again. Thank you for your contributions to the various fields, the law, the sports, politics, the government, I thank you very much sincerely on behalf of the entire leadership and membership of the Antiguan Baptist League. Thank you. First of all, Your Excellency, Dame Louise Leitard, Governor General, and Sir Deputy, Mr. Francis. Honorable Prime Minister Gaston Brown, Leader Emeritus, Honorable Lester Bryant Bird, Senior Minister, Sir Lester Bryant Bird. I speak here this morning. Uh, well, you soon, uh, soon, soon to be knighted according to the Prime Minister. I speak this morning not in my official capacity as a government minister. But I speak very briefly as a member of the Lester Bird's family, who I consider to be my second father, who I've known all of my adult life. And if I am in politics and public life today, I owe my political career to Lester Bryant Bird. I would like to congratulate you, sir. As the Prime Minister said, you are well deserving of any honor, there's no honor that is too great for this country to bestow upon you. He first named you as leader emeritus, now senior minister in his cabinet and government, and to go to parliament and to make you our second living national hero. Thank you very much. And I want to say to all of our comrades and to the country of Antigua and Barbuda, that as you said rightfully so, Prime Minister, Lester Bird's contribution to the socio-economic, political, 
development of this twin island state of ours is unmatched by none, only by his fleet father, Sophia Cornwall Burr. And when the history books will be written of this country, you surely will go down in the history books for your significant contribution. Legacy. Your legacy will live on. Now we are so happy that the Almighty God has preserved you and your intellect is still there, that we can depend on your wise counsel, your guidance for us, the younger ministers in the cabinet of Gaston Brown. In closing, I want to again commend the Honorable Prime Minister for bestowing upon you such a high honor, which you are well deserved of and to congratulate you for that overwhelming victory in St. John Rouelis. And I want to say to the people of Rouelis, you have never let down Lesterville. And rest assured, you will never let you down. May God continue to bless you, sir. Thank you.